B more 92Q, home of the AM Click. Happy Thursday. We up in this thing is Kels. JC. DJ Twisted. And now we got a special guest in the building. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Might yeah, call him Christian. <laughs> Might call him King Combs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Either way, he told me his name is Christian, so I feel like I know. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. King Combs in the building. Uh, young bad boy. Can't stop, won't stop, Baltimore, what up? What's going on, man? Yeah, man. Feeling good. Feeling good. I'm happy to be here. What's yeah, up? Yeah, just killed the stage of the BET Hip Hop Awards. <laughs> yeah, that was lit. No, it was crazy. I yeah. mean, you Dream know, come true. Yeah. I need to be in the background learning these dances because <laughs> the energy that you have every time you perform mm. is unmatched every yeah. time. Now, of course, you know, we've seen that come from your pops, mm -hmm. but... How do you stay in your lane, like being just Christian, being King Kong? I mean, I just be having fun out there. Like, I was just watching a video. I mean, performing at Norfolk State yesterday. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's just, it was just mad fun. Just the energy off the crowd usually is what gets me just hype. And yeah. I can't help myself but dance. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy because, like, we're sitting here talking to his dad, but it's, it's not, not like, like <laughs> y'all really twins. Yeah, though. literally. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, who can dance better, you or your pop? <laughs> I might have to take that now, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> Facts, though. Yeah, what was it like growing up in, in the Combs household for you? Uh, it was dope. You know, my family, I feel like they kept us well grounded and, you know, like, kept us humble and disciplined. We couldn't really, you know, do too much and just be out wilding, even though we had, like, you know, you're a comb, nice though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had to wait till you know we was a little bit older, but mm -hmm. you know, shout out to my mom and pops. They raised me well. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, and of no course, doubt. we know much love, and of course, our love goes towards you and your family, especially with your moms. And yeah. of course, being able to see. Yeah, thank you. That you're welcome. And of course, being able to see how you're flourishing after her passing. Yeah. How do you feel as though you had enough time to even grieve within that, or are you? How's, what's the process been like, especially with your mental health? Yeah, well, I feel like. You know, it was hard for me, but as soon as I found out the news, I heard my song on the radio. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to y'all DJs, because that, that really meant a lot to me, and I felt like, you know, she was with me. Yeah, Most you know, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, did you feel that pressure of being in the music business because your dad was in it and, you know... Well, you know, technically... Y'all twins. <laughs> I was the one that was really, like, fiending to do this, like, really? my whole life. Wow. Yeah, I always wonder, like, in music. Just seeing him on stage and seeing him do his thing, mm -hmm. being a fly on the wall watching that probably is what really inspired me to to do it. But yeah, for me it was mostly me being the one like, yo, I need to go on stage, I need to do this, <laughs> instead of it being like something that someone else made me do. Yeah. And of course you said like growing up raised and raised right and and raised properly. I mean he came in, he spoke to everybody. He's very well mannered. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> very mannerable. I love it, okay? Because you know the the generation that you're a part of is associated with a lot of uh ignorance. Let's just say that. Yeah. What is some manhood, general manhood advice that you've been given um from your father and then what was one thing that your mom told you that stuck with you the most that you carry without you today um some advice would be it to always you know use your manners be respectful well you, you definitely do that uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah just you know like yeah i would just say be respectful be humble you know don't, don't just be too cocky always like you know watch out for who you're around because you never know who that right. person may be or you know what they may be going through yeah mm -hmm. i was watching some videos of you online and uh you pay one thousand dollars for a shape up? Goodness <laughs> <laughs> gracious! Yeah, really, 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 really <laughs> it looks it like <laughs> my barber. He really do charge a thousand dollars. See, me and him, we got like a friendly, okay, friendly relationship. So you know, I don't have to, I don't have to spend that every time. But yeah. listen, he's you know, I've got, I've got him more than that. I gave him okay. more than that before. He's, he's in the category with two other people. Okay, Steve Harvey before he went bald, <laughs> and Jalen Rose. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> two people. Steve that, Harvey was doing that. What? Shape up clean. It took him like four hours to get a haircut. I was like, ain't no way I'm sitting down that long and I'm just getting a haircut. Now, I don't even want to sit down for braids. Now, uh, hello, I ain't got no braids. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we can tell you, uh, like, performing, right? What do you like better, making a record or performing a record? Mm. Uh, I think performing it, mm -hmm. just because, like, that's, like, when the final product is finally finished, right, everybody right, right. used to taste it and everybody gets to like feel it with you so i'd say yeah that's the moment i like the most but recording it is also dope because you you think about that process like actually mm -hmm. happening mm -hmm. and being able to perform the song and people loving it so yeah. no doubt. you know i gotta take my hats off to you because next year i'll be on radio quit my internship for like 22 years 
that's hard. I was told that uh, you wanted to see our interview styles yesterday. Yeah. We, I've never been asked yeah. that. So, <laughs> yeah, fact. yeah, I applaud to you for that. That's big. That's big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. serious about your craft and what you want to do and how you know how to prepare for, you yeah, know, yes, going sir. to the interview. So yes, big sir. up to no, that. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to. Check y'all out, see what see what y'all about. Yeah, no. <laughs> not, 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 not at all. Somebody, if you're listening, take heat. Okay? <laughs> yeah. You can ask questions too. You don't have to just say how you play my music on the radio. Like, yeah. yo, who am I about to sit in the same room with? Yeah. You know, because you're you're just as important as the interview that you're trying to go after. So mm -hmm. the fact that you do that, I think that's super dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and definitely, you know, I respect y'all. And you know, I'm thankful for y'all playing my joint. Of we course. gotta get Can't Stop, Won't Stop to number one. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, I saw an interview that you also did probably a while back where they were asking you, do you want 500 grand yeah. or then with Hove? You said, of course, you want the Den with Hove to get that knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But did you get that verse yet? Nah, I didn't get that verse. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Definitely know got the Rock Nation brush, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. whole, whole verse would be crazy though. Uh huh. Yeah, that that would be that would be legendary. Yeah. What other artists you want to work with? Uh, other artists. There's a lot of artists out there. Young New York artists I see out there going crazy. Mm -hmm. TJ, that's my boy. We got mm -hmm. something in the works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Play, he's better. Young Thug, yeah. Free Young Thug, and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so being that you grew up like round celebrities your entire life, is there anyone that you still see that like blows your mind? That you know, um, they be in your house when you wake up, or you know, <laughs> probably, probably like Beyonce. Just yeah, time. like I did a couple shows. Shout out DJ Khaled, he brought me out on, mm -hmm. the, on the run tour, and nice. just seeing nice. them every night was just like still crazy. <laughs> and yeah, having it be, even though like Hov is like my uncle, uh -huh. being around him sometimes like yo, that's Jay Z, like my man. Nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> Especially. I, I saw your video from the BET Awards that you posted and Mary J. Blige in your comments like, yo, I'm I, was, like, I was losing it. Like, this is Mary J. Yeah, <laughs> my favorite. She's a stink. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my auntie right yeah. there. Yeah. Mary J. She the goat. That's you know? what I'm saying. Like, he, all these people get to say that they're they aunties yeah. the uncles and stuff. You know, I get to call my uncle and my auntie something. They just like... Okay. And you get to be around me, so you good. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm, I need to upgrade my life. Like, I'm yeah. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of crazy. Like, as you grow up, sometimes back in the day, you didn't really know who somebody was. was yeah. Mm -hmm. You watch a documentary and be like, hold on, that's my uncle right there. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. You did Rolling Loud in NYC, home. Mm -hmm. Then you've done the BET Awards <clears throat> for hip hop. Yeah. What's a dream performance for you? Because if everybody wants to do like Super Bowl, things of that nature, what, what's a dream performance week? I ain't gonna lie, the BT one was definitely like a dream for really? me. Really? Yeah. I've been going to BT Awards since I was like mad young, just like with my pops. Mm -hmm. Like they always show love. And I think that was my first award show I ever went to. Like, and I As was, an artist? I just remember it, you know, just in life. Really? Yeah, I remember it vividly. Like, so <laughs> to be able to perform myself. That's super dope. Yeah, I want to win a Grammy though. I think that would be hard. Oh, come, come on now. Yeah. Speak it. Come on now. <laughs> come on now. If your father don't create it, <laughs> the black Grammy's coming soon. Right, right. But right. speaking of leads, I got a big up to you and your pops because look at y'all gonna be both in the top ten. First yeah. time ever. Right now, man, we in the top ten. <laughs> Feel me? Can't stop. Won't stop. Got to move on. Mm -hmm. Both on the charts. Same Bad time. boy. Like, shout out yeah. my pops. We outside. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Do you watch like the shade rooms and all those like little blog sites and everything? Uh, yeah, I be seeing sometimes. <laughs> when you see them, like what's about you and your family member? You all send to the group chat like, yo, you see this? I can't believe it. Like, what's your reaction? Yeah, and stuff like that. Just see it. Yeah, and just show each other and start laughing. Uh -huh. like that. <laughs> see, they start laughing. Most people start commenting. Yeah. There's a difference. See, there's levels to this. And being that family. <laughs> 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 now, yeah, you know, it's, it's all love. Like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, I don't, I don't knock nothing that yeah. doing that. Can't Stop, Won't Stop, of course, it's charting, and you did it with Kodak Black. Can't and, Stop, man, You know what I'm saying? We got to learn to dance before you get out of here. I'm just saying, oh, you know. All right. Boy. I'm leading the doom. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, but doing that, you, you also, you know, you've been on the side with, siding, of course, with Kodak and, you know, with his injury that he had and coming through with the uh, prescriptions and stuff, but you you were supportive of him. How important is the loyalty for you in this game, especially being young? You've seen a lot, you know a lot, but how important is it to you for loyalty? Because I love the fact that you actually spoke out in reference yeah. to Kodak and then y'all did a collaboration together, so which is really dope. Facts. Well, I definitely think, you know, that's important. And me, we just have a natural friendship, mm -hmm. so... It's just natural. Like most of the songs I, I usually do with all my features, there's never really like a situation where I'm 
asking for something that's not mm -hmm. really like already written, like you've okay. already been kind of cool for a minute. So yeah, I just had to support my guy, you know, yeah. going through hard times. You never know what people be going through. Yeah, 100%. You know, 100%. King Combs, so I thought you had an old soul. Would that be correct in saying that? Like, uh, yeah. hip hop, like the old school hip hop <laughs> and RB. Some say that, yeah. <laughs> I was feeling that, right? So, we do a game on the show we call Lyrically Correct. Okay. Where it's all hip hop and RB and stuff like that. So, we're his hands now. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta test you with some questions, okay? Get it. So, I hope you're ready. Don't be scared now. Don't be. I, they not too hard. Put my thinking cap. Yeah, put your thinking cap. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's lyrical do rap. Well, <laughs> <Play it down>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I know this is your family, so don't, don't take it the wrong way. The question is what could little Kim make disappear in her mouth? Oh no. She rapped out in the song. Sprite. Sprite. Sprite can. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I know that's Audrey, so. He like, wait a minute, hold on. Those were the think, records I'm that like... they hid from us. Sprite. How did that ball go? <laughs> what did she say? Um, it's on how many licks, right? How, it's on yeah. how many licks, but that, we're going to. Yeah, that was the. Um, nah, Lil' Kim had some crazy yeah. balls. Yeah. Man. She took it to the next level. Right? That was after the parental advisory. Yeah. Three, yeah. Uh, Explicit warning. warning. <laughs> <laughs> If Nas ruled the world, what would he do? Free all his thugs. Okay. All his sons. Okay. Got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because Master P got the hookup, what does he say you should do next? Uh, make him say, uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm wrong. Yeah, nope. What you talking about? <laughs> How are you going with that? Like DJ Twist. Come on, you might as well give me that one. Holly, you hear me? Holly, you hear me? I didn't really see that see that one that much. Though. Okay. What does T.I. have the crowd yelling? Um, oh, King Combs. Uh, King Combs, uh, come on. Oh, you catch me up, buddy. You got the crowd yelling. <laughs> uh, this unk, man, this unk saying. Hold on, unk, I got you. I'm, 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 I'm waving the motion. Yeah. I'm waving. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Can't let my man go out like that. Yeah. Okay. I told you, we feel like we grew up together this morning. Yeah. <laughs> King Combs hang on to Baltimore. King Combs, what do you want Baltimore to know? Hey, yo, Baltimore, I want y'all to know I love y'all. If you're following a dream, never stop, can't stop, won't stop. It's bad boy, we in the building. Let's get it. We love it. Love 192Q.